welcome back to the channel. Today I thought I would do a kind of like a grocery haul. I usually do my grocery shopping like on Wednesdays or Thursdays because those are the days that I have off from work. So today is Thursday and I have the day off and I'm just looking at the ads that I got. Um, I have Sprouts and Smith's. When I go grocery shopping, I feel like I shop aimlessly. Like, I look at things that are on sale and then I'll look up on my phone with, like things that I can make with that stuff. That's usually what I'll end up doing. The day, or this week, Sprouts is having like a sale that's like go plant-based. 35% off all products from the brands right here. So it's all of those brands. I might go to Walmart again to get a food processor because I want to make like dressing for zucchini noodles and like carrot spirals. I want to make like an avocado, maybe like cauliflower creamy kind of dressing and put some maybe cheese or nutritional yeast or something in it. So we'll see. I'm going to go to Walmart and see what they have um, as far as food processors go. So yeah. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I love watching these videos on YouTube, like grocery hauls and like what I eat in a week videos, things like that. Anything to do with food, really. I think it's fun. And I like cooking and stuff. Um, so yeah, I'll take you guys along with me. Let's go. Also on my days off, I've been rocking the no makeup game and boy does it feel good. Walmart didn't have the one that I want. Um, the one that I was showing you didn't really have that great of review, so I'm off to Target now. I'm gonna do a haul for you guys when I get home. I think that will be a little bit better because I'm kind of all over the place in the grocery stores. Yeah. Oh, hello? Oh, sorry, I butt dialed you. <laughs> sorry, bye. <laughs> so I just got these from Trader Joe's. So freaking good. Best snack for the car. No mess and delicious. Look how cute! I got both of them! Okay, I'm back at home and I wanted to do a little grocery haul for you guys. So, I got my cup of coffee ready. Cheers! Babe, you want your coffee? Yes. Badger's mopping the floor. I just got yelled at because I stuck outside the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, Becca, stay in the kitchen. <laughs> so, let's see. I went to Trader Joe's and Sprouts. Got my Trader Joe's bag. And then we have an insulin bag. It's heavy. First thing, what's some alone? from Trader Joe's. I find that Trader Joe's has the best priced watermelon. Like Sprouts had it for $4.99 a pound. Not sure how many pounds this is, but um, Trader Joe's is just $2.99 no matter what size it is. So that's a super good deal. Put it over here. There we go. Then what do we have? Of course, some bananas. So I got two, four, six bananas. I'm planning to let these ones ripen so that they're like brown and then I'm gonna freeze them and try making banana ice cream once I get that darn food processor. 
So those are what the bananas are for. Then we got some rice cauliflower. This stuff is so good. At first, the first time I made it, I didn't really like it. And then I made it again with my curry. And I put it in the curry and it was so good. And I'm planning to, let's see. I got this bag of limes and some cilantro in here. And I'm gonna make some cilantro, wait, cilantro, lime rice, cilantro lime rice, I guess, yeah, with the rice cauliflower. So that will be good. These limes smell so good. I got a two pound pack of blueberries from Trader Joe's. This is what I'm talking about, because I can usually eat like a handful of blueberries like every five minutes. Next off, we have some coconut milk. I usually buy almond milk, but I thought I'd switch it up with some coconut milk. Okay, I'm gonna go ride for a little bit. Okay. I'm gonna test on my bike, see how it's doing. <laughs> Didn't you just paint stuff yesterday? It actually looks really good. Like, it looked worse at night. It looked, I but I mean, what are you testing? Um, because I dropped my bike. Oh. So I'm checking to see if the gear shifter is okay. If I need to get it replaced. Yeah. Okay. Have fun. Thank you. Can I have a keys? This is the last time I ever saw you. Wow. And when I come back? If I'm done with the video. Say hi to the video. Look how dark you are. Knock him dead, kiddo. I don't know how I feel about this. It's cornstarch and like all of the Asian recipes that I find like say to add cornstarch like to the veggie mix. And so I saw this one at Sprouts and it said non-GMO cornstarch and I'm like okay maybe that's a little bit better than regular cornstarch. I'm not going to use that much in this recipe but I feel like it's not the same without it. I got a head of cauliflower. I really like cauliflower right now for some reason. I'm going to make this sweet and sour, is it sweet and sour? Yeah, sweet and sour um, cauliflower. You basically take the cauliflower and dip it in flour with, like mixed with a little bit of water. So I got coconut flour just to try it out. I'm not really sure what the difference is between this and like regular flour. So yeah, this coconut flour is from Trader Joe's. It was $2.99, which I thought was a fairly good deal. Wash the cauliflower, cut it up into florets. Sorry, I have to show you Roger. Whoop. Hey yo! <laughs> this is my camera stand right now. My little water pitcher thingy. <laughs> Behind the scenes. Right. Anyways, what I'm trying to say is I'm making like basically like a general sows cauliflower sweet and sour type thing. No. If that makes sense. I know Roger has that like every day, so. <laughs> but I'm not making that today. Oh, thank God. So, yeah. um, and then I got some green onion because I love green onion and I feel like that'd be really good on this cauliflower. So you dip it in the flour, by flour and water mixture and then you dip it in this panko breadcrumb mix, pull it around in there and then Stick it in the oven, let it crisp up, and then you, while it's cooking, you can make the sauce for it. So I think it's like hoisin, um, soy sauce, garlic powder, chili paste. Uh, I think it calls for this, the rice vinegar, um, and some other things. I'm gonna have to look up what the exact recipe is. So the next thing that I got was an onion, yellow onion. I'm gonna cut this up and put it in a soup that I'm making. So I got two things of chicken broth. I don't think I'll need to use two, but I just got two just in case. Um, I'm gonna cut up an onion, put some mushrooms, asparagus. These asparagus look really good because they're super thin. We're gonna put some ginger, an eggplant. I've never cooked an eggplant before. And I thought, why not? Why not put an eggplant in there? So I got the eggplant. Lemongrass I've never cooked with, and I'm I'm not sure if I'm just supposed to stick it in the soup and it will flavor it. It smells good, um, but I've never used it before, so I guess we'll see how that goes. I got some firm tofu that I'm gonna brown up and just stick in the soup mix. I love these little yellow potatoes. I'm not even sure what they're called. Yukon, maybe? 
but they're just little baby yellow potatoes. I think that's it for the meals that I'm planning to make. The rest is just kind of like random stuff. When I was working last night, I wanted to get them really bad and I realized that I forgot my wallet. So I didn't get them, but I got them today. And as you can see, I snacked on them on the way home because they're so good. They're just peanut butter pretzels. These are from Sprouts and they're called Dapple Plum something, Plum Dapple Pluouts or something like that. I am totally probably butchering it, but I got four of these guys. I feel like they're gonna taste very similar to a plum, but they look like an apple, so it's kind of kind of weird. But I think they'll be good. One sweet potato, bag of bell peppers. They're already cut up and ready to go. It's in the frozen section, and they're only $1.99. So I don't know how they I don't know how they make it $1.99 because the yellow bell peppers usually are like $1.50, I feel like. And then there's like red and green in here. Is there orange? No, it's just red, yellow, and green, but I cannot believe it. This is such a good deal. We got some vegetable broth. First time trying this one. It is organic split pea soup. Okay, so we got some shelled edamame because who likes to shell it themselves? I feel like shelled is a very confusing word because it's like, did they take the shell off or does it have the shell on? Does that make sense? I don't know. I love sprouts because of their bulk section, I guess you would call it. Um, so you can just get how much you need, not like a whole bag of it. So I got these cashews. We have some Turkish apricots. These are just red seedless grapes. Lastly, from Sprouts, I got these great northern beans. And I'm just gonna keep them in the cupboard for when I need them because they look good and why not? We are all finished with the grocery haul. I hope you guys liked it. Um, if you guys like these, maybe just give it a thumbs up so I can make another one because I really enjoy making them. I just love everything about food. I love cooking. I'd love to hear some recipes if you guys have any of them for all 43 of you guys that watch my videos. I'm gonna go cook some food up because I am so hungry and I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching, bye. All right, I thought I'd show you guys how it turned out. We got eggplant, mushroom, cilantro, green onion, which I freaking love. Green onion is the best. Asparagus, some ginger, everything good. Yum. There's some extras of the cilantro and green onion. We got our Woo. juice. <laughs> and then some baby broccoli. It's gonna be lit! Mmm, that's good.